there in this video we will see how to create e certificate using google sheet more specifically without using add ons there are four important steps that we need to do in order to uh, prepare the e certificate step 1 we need to prepare the template for e certificate in google slide in step 2 we need to create uh, the setup for the certificate in step 3 we would uh, test the certificate and in the final step we would send the certificates to the target participants in step 1 you would create the uh, certificate template in google slide we will see how to do it so the first step starts with uh, creating an e certificate in google slide i would recommend you to uh, create a new folder so I le let me name this folder as e certificate e certificate and then uh, within that e certificate you create a new google slide i would quickly do certain template which would save our time so i call this as e certificate template so let me delete all these things so let me take a rough template that is already available uh, to save our time so let me take this one so let me uh, insert a picture here go to images upload from my desktop and then i insert the institute logo here I reduce the size okay so i put it in the center and i needed a text here so i go to layout and then i could uh, i would uh, use this layout where you have the title so type this as certificate the position that and the center position the text in the center and then slightly shift it down okay now you do the uh, text certificate part here so this certificate is issued to mr ms or doctor that prefix i would put it here so i would uh, put a place holder for that so i call that as prefix this is very important because uh, in certificates most of the people will be very cautious in this so i would recommend you to collect this prefix separately when you are designing a google form uh, so that we can use that information here and then put a dot followed by i would like to have a place holder for name so i put name then followed by a comma followed by their designation probably so designation a place holder for designation all these things are custom designed so you can give any names as you like so i'm just giving it for my comfort so designation comma uh, from which organization they are coming from so org defines the organization and finally the state or city from where they are coming so i maybe i'll put this as state <clears throat> so this certificate is issued to so and so for successfully completing uh, the one week online training program on pcb designing organized by puducherry technological university from 0107 to 15 07 2020 put a zero here so so this is the content of the certificate and it's also a good uh, practice to you know add the id of the certificate so i would put certificate serial number there's always a better practice to give a unique serial number to an id so i call that as certificate id so this i would put it in the left hand side of the certificate maybe here and then finally who is going to sign the certificate so maybe i can put as organizing secretary somebody who is authorized to sign the certificate so bold this and in, and uh, include the digital certificate as well so go to uh, insert again so go to image and upload this from the computer i open this uh, sample uh, signature here and then i put it somewhere here shift it down maybe you can just colorize this uh, to a different color <coughs> so i give a, a green color okay right so i would love to have this uh, name and prefix in bolded uh, format with a different color so maybe i would give a dark brown color so this certificate also i would love to have it uh, bolded so you can give a lot of you know beautifications but then i just stop it with this uh, our aim is not to design a certificate here but to but to learn how to automate this process of sending digital certificates so i stop here so if you refresh this page you would have the um, link for this uh, sheet in the address bar so you copy that so we would be using this later on so take a notepad sheet and then uh, paste that address that we copied just now so if you see the unique id of that particular sheet starts from here after this uh, docs.google.com presentation slash d slash this is where the unique id of that particular sheet starts and we have to reduce the size of this okay okay so after this d it starts and then it ends before it ends so i just 
cut that and then paste it here. So this is the uh, template ID that we have created. Let us use it uh, in future. Okay, so that I do it. So that concludes my uh, part one, which is creating the template certificate. In step two, uh, we will uh, do the setup for the certificate. Let us see how to do it. So for that, you need to use the Google script that I have attached in the description. So you copy that Google script and open a Google sheet now. So you open that uh, Google script, uh, put control A and copy this, go to edit and then copy this and close this. So now you open a Google sheet here. So in the same folder called e-certificates, I am now opening the Google sheet. So I take a Google sheet. So you would have a blank uh, Google sheet like this. Let me rename this Google sheet as e-certificate. And then I'll go to tools in the script editor part. You delete the existing contents and then paste the source code that is there in the description and then save it. So the project name can be saved as e-certificate and then close this one. So we no longer need this uh, code window. Let me close this. After closing that, if you refresh this e-certificate uh, Google spreadsheet, uh, after a few seconds, you would end up in having a small menu here. Okay, so this Google script would automatically create a small menu. Uh, you may have to wait for a few seconds uh, for that to happen, depending upon the speed of your computer and the speed of your internet. Okay, so now it has appeared. So in this, uh, you just click the first step, which is the setup. So that is the first step that we have to do. So just do it. So once you click that, it lasts for authorization. So you just continue. Okay, so you just authorize that with your email ID where you are currently using and allow it and then uh, run this setup once again so if you run this setup uh, you would end up in having a small template here these templates are the inputs which you need to give for this setup to be complete so that we can start uh, using this particular uh, script so let us see one by one what are the important inputs that you have to give here okay so the very first thing is you need to give the sheet name where your data is available for preparing the e-certificates the data means the list of names and the list of their email IDs, so on and so forth. So I, since I have created a new sheet here, I'm not having any data. So maybe I would uh, extract some data from my email ID and then use it here. So I already have a small uh, sample data here. I just copy this sample data. So I copy this. I go to my e-certificate sheet. I create a new sheet. So in sheet two, I paste it. Okay, so this is my certificate data, which I would be using for preparing the certificates so you can prepare the sheet depending upon your requirement but i have created it like this so the first column is my email id the second column is prefix whether it is mr miss mrs doctor uh, these days people are very specific in that so it is better you, when you collect data via a google form you create a separate field for that and then uh, the full name in uppercase their designation their uh, college or the organization the city or the state where they belong so these are the primary information that you need uh, of this list if you are uh, no, not willing to take up all or if you are willing to modify this depending upon your wish you are free to do it because it is completely customizable and it is not uh, fixed let us go back to sheet one so the data where this uh, entire certificate information is available is sheet two so that is what i have to enter it here so i'll just zoom it for you so certificate data sheet name that is sheet two so you just enter the value there and then in that email column you have to see in which column email is available email is available in column a so i type that as a and then these are all the placeholders for creating the certificates the first one is prefix so it is asking which column the prefix is there so i go to sheet two prefix is available in column b that is in b and then name is available in uh, column C. So just type the column name uh, in that particular location. The next one is designation. Designation is in column D, that is in D. The next one is organization. Organization is in uh, E. And the last one is the address or this, uh, this is in E. The last one is city or the state where the organization belongs to, that is in uh, F. So that is in F. And then uh, in certificate serial number, we are having a ID here. So sometimes when you create a serial number, you wanted to have a uh, unique uh, code for that particular event, PTU, this is Puducherry Technological University, TRG, that is a uh, serial number that I would like to, okay, any code 
that you would like to have preceding the serial number you can so this prefix name designation org city whatever i put here should exactly match the designators that we used in the uh, you know google slide template certificate so this is the one which the software would go and change it so whatever you put here should exactly match this information here it is not that you have to use only these notations you can use any notation but the thing is the notation that you use that you use here should exactly match this information and the relevant column in which it is present has to be mapped in the other sheet so don't do anything in the sheet one do whatever you want in a separate sheet in future you can add as many number of sheets as you like depending upon the number of events that you are going to conduct but now for time being i'm using only one so this is pertaining to uh, the information for the certificates and then now it's time for you to send the uh, email to the candidates isn't it so so before we send it we need to test the certificate so it is uh, most likely that i would give my uh, personal email id for testing it so i would give my uh, my personal id sundar@pec.edu for testing it before we actually send the certificate to others and then sender name is nothing but who is sending the certificates so okay so if you are sending the certificates you can put your name or if you are organizing this event as a committee you can represent that as a committee so i would uh, represent this as iedc uh, okay so this stands for innovation and entrepreneurship development center of uh, ptu uh, iedc pudu technological university or simply PTU, whoever is sending that subject you can give any subject so i am giving this as e certificate and then the email body is uh, used for configuring your uh, message so dear sir madam thank you for participating in the online event organized by us please find the e certificate attached here with, uh, for the kind of result. with warm regards uh, i can give the name as uh, ptu puducherry okay so you can also customize this like uh, in the place of sir madam uh, you can just uh, include the place holders here and then mail merge that say for example i can give this as uh, dear i would uh, use the prefix here so p r e f i x followed by a name place holder so that it can mail merge that so it will give you a more personalized feeling to the user when they read the mail okay so that can also be done so so that way you can make your mail more personalized so this is the second thing so the last thing that you have to configure is the google slide template id google slide template id means the id that we extracted for this sample certificate okay so that we have already pasted in this notepad so i just copy this and then i put it in the i put it in this uh, place holder here okay so that's all so once you do this the job is done that is the end of second part in step 3 we would uh, test the certificate and see whether it is creating properly let us test it before launching the certificates to the other participants i have to test it so i, I have given my own email id here for testing it so go to e certificate and then click the second option test uh, it would run the script and then it will uh, send the mail so once that is done it will give you an indication that it is finished is the script so you can either go to uh, send to mail and then see uh, here so dear dr manigandan thank you for participating in the online event organized by us please find your e certificate attached here for a kind of person with warm regards spiti so if you open the certificates you can see that uh, dr manikandan n is changed professor is changed puducherry engineering college is changed state has not been changed okay so there is an issue here let us see what is the issue uh, in the uh, here we are given city whereas it is uh, whereas in the place holder it is given as state that is why it has not changed so let me copy this here and then put it here i want state here okay so once that is done again let me test go to e certificate and then send this so if you run the script it will take 5 uh, to 10 seconds for completing the script once that is done it will show you as finished script now it's time for us to go and check the send to mail again it will send only one certificate for you so if you see here now it has changed in the place of city puducherry is marked okay so this has uh, customized the certificate now it's time for us to uh, send the certificates in the final step it's time for us to send the certificates to all the participants let us see how to do it now it's time for us for sending all the certificates one by one so let me go to e certificates i click step 3 which is uh, send certificates uh, this would group launch all the certificates in this case i have around 11 certificates all the certificates will be sent one by one to their respective email id so let me click that it will take around 5 uh, to 10 seconds for one certificates to be sent so it will take a while for these certificates to be completely sent meanwhile you can go to the uh, sent email from your email id and then check whether the certificate has been dispatched or not. 
So you can see that Mr. Manigandan, Mr. Gilbert, you again refresh. Okay. So Mr. John Paul, okay. Now you can see that the certificates have been sent one by one to the candidate. So, so typically it would take around uh, 10 to 15 seconds for uh, each, uh, uh, each participant. Okay. Like this, uh, it will complete one by one. Uh, finally, once that is done, you would get an indication in this column stating that all the certificates are sent. Okay, so that way you can know which certificate has been sent. So the beauty of this system is you can regenerate the certificate whenever you want. Say, for example, one of the participant, uh, Mr. John Paul has complained that uh, his initial has not been given properly. Say, for example, he has uh, emailed you stating that uh, uh, is in the place of M, uh, it has to be K. So he has wrongly uh, uh, given that information when he is typing the form. So so you want to regenerate this uh, for John Paul K. So what you would do, uh, uh, you have to do only one simple thing. So so for John Paul K, you would just go to the send status and delete it, and then uh, go to e certificates and and click this send certificate again. So if you send that thing, the certificate will be sent only to Mr. John, and for the others, uh, the status is already sent. You see now, he, for him, the certificate has been sent again. Uh, maybe you can go to the send to mail and you can see. Uh, the last mail is gone to John. It is now, you can see that the initial is changed to K. Okay, so that way you can uh, dynamically create the certificates whenever you want. Now, the beauty of the system is uh, you can create as many number of sheets as you like. This is for one event. Tomorrow, if you are going to generate another event, you can just create another sheet here and then add all those information. The only thing that you have to do is you have to change the certificate ID and then uh, you have to change the name here as sheet 3 in the place of sheet 2. And pertaining to the information that you have for that particular certificate, this information may have to be fine tuned. So with that, you can, uh, with by using this single sheet, you can deliver uh, certificates. This only limitation of this is uh, limited to the number of uh, emails that the Google allows per day. Per day limit is it is 500. So up to 500 certificates you can send per day. And if your certificate is more than 500, you have to split it for two days, and that is the only limitation. Apart from that, uh, this particular uh, uh, source code would help you to do everything only from your Google account, thereby the sensitive email information are not shared to any third party, thereby uh, your complete information is safe and safe. Hope this uh, information would have helped you, make use of it and have fun. Thank you.